Hello and welcome to another Bat Rep video. Now you'll notice that I'm stood in front of an empty gaming table and have a book open in front of me. And that's because this video, I'm going to set the table up, show you the little bit of the terrain, and then we'll get our game on. So the scenario we're gonna play is Buckleberry Ferry. And years ago now, well before I started doing the YouTube channel, I made some scenery for this because it's a fantastic scene in the book, in the film, and we really enjoy playing it as a scenario. So I have some old scenery, which is what we're gonna use for this battle report. And this video is gonna come out in conjunction and around the same time as the battle games in Middle Earth, where I'm going to be, uh, well, that's basically what they're telling us to build. So I might end up building a, another uh, version of this. I'm not sure yet because I'm filming this several months before I get to that. So I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here a little bit. Anyway, the layout, it says, is this. The board represents the Brandywine River and the surrounding area. The Brandywine runs from north to south, six inches away from the eastern board edge and should be six inches wide. The Buckleberry Ferry should be in the center of the western bank. The area of the board at least 18 inches from the eastern board edge should be densely packed with trees, hedges, bushes. So my table is six foot by four foot. I have the uh, markings on it. So we'll do a four foot by four foot layout uh, and we'll probably play on this part. So we'll have the, the front end here for some spare space and also the back end. Now, my terrain is all up on the back shelf. So what I'm gonna do is pull that down and have a look at it. And uh, then I will set it up and uh, we'll show you what the table looks like when it is done. So let's have a look. <clears throat> So here we are, here is the layout, and uh, I think having set that up, I'm pretty sure that at some point around the time this video comes out, I will have made a new version of this, because I've learned so much since I made this terrain. However, I think it looks pretty cool for being many years old and uh, before I really learned my trade, uh, and I'm particularly pleased with the actual brandy wine and the brandy wine look of that because that is exactly what it looks like in the film you come past the little uh, cottage where the ferry keeper lives and then there's the ferry going across the river over there so what i've also done is pulled out lots and lots of my old terrain just to make it up because actually the only bit i did for the bank was this tile i never finished it you can see here here's the here's the uh, road um, and uh, i'll show some more details in a bit there's a sign that, that uh, says uh, brandywine bridge 20 miles or whatever it is um, and um, i also did quite a few lengths of river which were my first ever attempts and was well, actually my first ever attempt at resin and i still have the resin that's been dripped onto the floor <laughs> in the garage for when I made that. But there's lots and lots of tiles, lots and lots of trees. The other tiles that you see are made for a custom scenario, which may eventually appear on this channel, uh, Assault the Castle, and uh, there's a, uh, I, I wrote that for myself. Um, and so I've just dragged a load of the tiles out and put them into place uh, to get this scenario done. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this. I will play the Black Riders, obviously, because I'm evil. <laughs> uh, and Angela will be playing Frodo, Sam, Merry and Pippin. And I will have three ring wraiths with no additional might, will or fate. So we will get to the army together. We will get our miniatures together. And not today, but very soon, in your time, very, very soon, in our time, hopefully very soon, we will, we will get a game. So yeah, there's the, uh, there's the terrain. I'll do a quick walk around now and show you a little bit more about it just before we start the game. So here we are on shaky cam. There's the signpost that I mentioned. Um, and you can see that there's some nice little touches in here. So I've put myself a little red scarecrow. There's a marsh, there's a vineyard over there. Uh, we've got some dead trees. We've got some more rocks and what have you. I've got a gap here. Hopefully that won't impact play. Just cover that over with a dead tree as well coming down to the brandy wine and yeah this is this is where the hobbits are attempting to escape across and where i'm going to catch them <laughs> of course i'm not i don't I have, i've never won this game but i still love it so yeah good good terrain good fun to play on uh, hopefully it'll give us a nice immersive experience and hopefully you will really enjoy the gameplay so yeah let's get playing 
Well, this is the first time we've actually played a game since the last time we filmed a game, which tells you <laughs> just how long it's been, <laughs> horrendously so. Uh, this is the Buckleberry Ferry scenario from the Quest of the Ring Bearer. Now, obviously, people watching this will know this is a... Oh, yeah, we kind of didn't get that dust. <laughs> Um, this is basically part of the Battle Games of Middle Earth series and um, the half the build was making the ferry. Now I'd already made it, so this is here. Uh, so rather than do another build, I thought why not play the scenario and get Angela to actually play a game with me again, which is awesome. So the Buckleberry Ferry scenario um, has been written a couple of times. We've played it before, haven't we? We had a great fun last time we played it. It was really good fun. Yeah, we played it on this in, on this scenery as well, I think, didn't Pretty we? Pretty sure I won again, didn't I? I think you won, yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> Probably you always do. You beat me last time, didn't you? Maybe um, not this time. <laughs> we shall see. But it's slightly different from the last time we played it. Uh, the, the original scenario, I don't recall it being like this. This is going to be interesting. Mm. Uh, so what I've got, I've got three ring wraiths, normal ring wraiths with no extra. So they've got uh, seven will, no might, no fate. <laughs> <laughs> so. I've got... Zero anything. No, you don't. You've got two might, three will, and three fate on uh, on your man Frodo. No, I don't. Here. Yeah. Not according to your sheet, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Frodo and Sam have got might, will, and fate. Oh, It's okay. just Merry and Pippin right. don't. So, yeah, I, just, I, just, I thought those were zeros. No, okay. no, no. They're the dots. So All right, put okay. in there. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah. So you've got Frodo, Sam, Merry, and Pippin. Okay. The aim of the scenario is to get onto the ferry and escape over here on the other side of the dock. Um, I win if I, so the, the good player wins if Frodo can escape the board via the eastern board edge. The evil player wins if Frodo is slain. Kill, kill that little rat bag. <laughs> um, so it, the, the, the deployment area, the ring wraiths will be deployed along this strip here. Oh. And the uh, hobbits start along this back strip, strip here. Now, one of the things that's different from the last time is a lot more woodland on this table than there was last time. Um, it was, was far less wooded. And also, I believe, the hobbits started n there, nearer the, on the yeah, path. The, on the path. But, you but had then horses. I had horses last time, exactly. So I was mounted. But this time it's not mounted. So we're going to see how it goes. Um, it should be a laugh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, we will again be playing this over several evenings uh, it's tough to find time to play with a three-year-old monster mm -hmm. so yeah uh, hopefully you enjoy it <laughs> hopefully i win this time no chance you know, even up a bit no. and hopefully you enjoy the scenery um and uh, yeah let me know in the comments below what you think and uh, if you like how it's edited together because this is going to be a little bit different from the last one it being a bigger table and a bit harder to film there might be a few <laughs> more cuts and a few more little little bits and pieces but yeah let's get this game on Go for it. Having once evaded the Black Riders and spent some time resting with Gildor and his elves, the hobbits find themselves back on their journey towards Crick Hollow. Once more heeding Gandalf's words to stay off the road, the hobbits are traveling through the densely wooded areas of Buckland, just in case any more of these mysterious riders in black may yet be tracking them. As they near the Brandywine River, the hobbits' fears are realized. Ahead, they are aware of some of the Black Riders hunting for them, and fear once more begins to creep into their minds. However, the Nazgul have not yet noticed the presence of the hobbits, and are searching the surrounding area as they seek for whoever carries the Ring of Power. The hobbits know they must escape the Black Riders, and quickly, and the only way to put some meaningful distance between them and their pursuers is to cross the Brandywine River using the Buckleberry Ferry. However, the Nazgul stand between them and the relative safety of the ferry, so to reach it the hobbits will have to use every ounce of stealth, and no small amount of luck, to make it to the ferry undetected.
So here we have the lesser spotted Angela <laughs> attempting to decide where to deploy hers. Can I deploy I have... mine on the bridge? <laughs> <laughs> I have deployed a, a ring wraith here, here and here. Now the ring wraiths move as sentries, so on a roll of one they can't move. On a two to three, Angela will move them on a four to half their move. On a four to five, um, I will move them, half their move. You can have to deploy behind this. I know. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. I'm planning ahead. And on a six, I can move in any direction. The only other thing to say is we have all these lovely, amazing, I hope we think they are, um, hedgerows and what have you, which it looks like you wouldn't be able to get through. But what we've said, just for the, uh, the sake of the scenario and to open up different avenues of approach, um, it, they can be crossed on the roll of anything but a one. Uh, so that is to simulate the hobbits kind of like wriggling their way through uh, in their sneaky little way, um, or the ring wraiths vaulting over. So um, you would m use your entire move to get across each of those barriers on anything but a one. So here we have the uh, the brave party, um, and here we have. Let's see if he can roll a six. <laughs> Could be over very quickly if he does. <laughs> right. So that is our deployment. Let's start. Turn one. Well, there they are, the uh, brave crew. So in scenarios, good goes first. So uh, you can move a hulking four inches. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. That should be my thing. If I could get away with that as my theme music, I would. Run away boys, run away, run away boys. What are we in high? Right, so Samwise. So you'd have to roll. Um, you're not a scenario. A, a oh, no, century. It's not. I'm a century. Yeah, you are. So, yeah, so when it comes to my turn, I'll have to roll for each of my models. Uh, so on a they one, just move. they freeze. Just bear in mind if I roll a six. So you've moved up to there. Yeah. That's cool. Right, so I am going to move the camera and point it down at the dice. Okay, so I have to roll three dice. I'm going to roll left to right as I'm looking on them. So the first one is a one. He doesn't move at all. <laughs> Excellent. The second one is a five. I get to move him up to three inches. That's the middle one. Mm -hmm. And the last one on the right is a one. He doesn't get to move at all. Excellent job. <laughs> nice good, work. Good rolling. However, it's the one I want to roll. That is, I want to be able to move that can move. So let's go and have a look and see how that's going to go. Where is he? Do, 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 do. There he is. So let's get my top table wargaming jobby and I can move him three inches. So he's going to move three inches. What an exciting round one. Let's go to <laughs> round two. <laughs> We've got a Xena come to join in, have we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she thinks that the uh, good side should win, obviously, but she's, got she's distracting the, the Hobbit player. You stick with your mummy. <laughs> Right, so now it's turn two, um, and uh, yeah, you're not going to jump through that fence, are you? Well, I was going to, until <laughs> I remembered what the sentry thing was. Yeah, so just to make that clear, um, as once, I mean, I'm saying that they're hidden, um, so, uh, but I think that once uh, the in line of sight and within six inches, they're not within line of sight now, the alarm would be raised. And what that would mean is that, that the ring race would no longer be under the sentry rules, which means that, yeah, you'd then die. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, let's, let's not do that. Um, so yeah, anyway, round two, you, you can move wherever you want to. Oh, Zena is distracting you, do you want me to take her? If I'd known that, I wouldn't have moved up to the head. I did wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hello, Zena. Right then. Let's do... What do you think, Zena? Zena. Eat the ring wreaths. Yes. <laughs> that guy over there and this dude that's down here somewhere didn't get to move at all, but they are lurking. There they go. These trees are sticking to my jump. Yeah. Right. To be honest, it's just purely window dressing, isn't it? Mm. So, okay, right, so now I'm going to go roll some more dice. So the dice tray is over there. Let's zoom in on that. 
do, do, do. once again I'll do left to right and uh, let's see what they do so the come one on, on the dice left. come on dice I got a five so I can move the one on the left oh. the one in the middle I get a three so you get to move him mm. which is what you wanted mm -hmm. and the one on the right I get a six so I can no. move him but full distance so what we'll do is I'll do my two moves and uh, then you can move the one in the middle so let's mm -hmm. see what I'm going to do there so this water and most of the terrain is just the only is not really mattering is it um, it's it's the hedges and the big river that matters and then I've got dude over there who I can move six which is pretty cool I hope the moving of the camera and the changing of the angles and all that's all right I'm trying to be a smooth and non uh, juddery as I possibly can so now you can move the middle dude three inches in any direction so this guy here oh we've got we've got a big monster wag on the table <laughs> <laughs> so this dude here you can move three inches in any direction I remember playing when sorry I knocked the camera sorry, I remember playing when uh, we had uh, Rosie asleep, do you remember? Yes. <laughs> and I, I seem to remember her bit sitting, did she sit on her, in her like carry Yeah, thing, in, yeah. Her, in her car seat thing. Yeah, she sat on no, the edge of the rocker. table. in a rocker. In a rocker on the edge of the table, watch this game, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's too old for that now. <laughs> she's too old for, I'm waiting to for do her as they're to, told. I'm no. waiting for her to play. Right. Yeah. She's gonna sit in there. Fantastic. So, that's the end of turn two. Wow. We might even get three turns in tonight. That's brilliant. <laughs> right, so turn three. Okay, so turn three, uh, you can move. Okay. So um, we said that if you want to get through this um, hedge, roll a dice, and uh, on a, anything but a one, you get through. Mm -hmm. And on the six, you get to move on. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do it like that. So you get to move on. Okay. Move your whole, whole distance. So I'm not in line of sight of that third guy over there, am I? No, these, these are... Come like, here. These are sight blockers, yeah. And that's not six inches or line of sight anyway. So you'd need to be within six inches to be seen. Oh, six inches. Yeah, okay. six inches right. in line of sight, yeah. So let's roll to see if we go through. Okay. Um, so Sam. Sam, the true hero, gets through. Mary. Gets through. Pippin. Gets through. Oh, this isn't looking good. It's going down and down and down. <laughs> Frodo. Oh! <laughs> I just need to zoom in on that. I need to, he is, he, Frodo is pathetic, isn't he? And look he at that. Rubbish. That big fat one shows just how pathetic Frodo <laughs> really is. So move him back over here. That is shocking. It's absolutely shocking. <laughs> There we are, so you can, yeah, everyone this. can go through yeah. apart from the one you actually care about. Well, yeah. yeah. He's just like, you know, well. allowing his forward guard to take all the risks and like be pathetic like he does. Yeah, well, that's why I'm playing that's up this way. <laughs> <laughs> because In he character. is pathetic. Right, okay, so let's move back over to the dice and I will see what my guys do. That's shocking. I can't believe that. I, <laughs> that's so funny, I was waiting for it. Five, four, three, one. One. Right, let's see. So, one on the left. Um, yep, one on the left. Get a six. Oh. One in the middle. Get a one, he can't move. And the one on the right. I get a one, he can't oh. move. <laughs> However, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good for you, actually. Yeah. So, uh, the one on the left is currently... If we move round, this dude here who's just underneath this nice tree. These, this terrain and these, all these trees is pretty much the first things they ever made. Mm. Uh, years and years ago, before I was really I had any skill. And I think it holds up very well. It, I'm, I'm actually quite amaz amazed at how, how nice it looks. I think the trees look really Sweet good. Myself. Yeah, I, I mean, I, there's a sign there, isn't there, and everything, which we'll probably see a bit later on as we get closer to, to the end. Um, but yeah, so there we are. That's the end of turn three. Um, should we do another one? Yeah. Let's do another one. Let's do one more. <laughs> right, so turn I four. I believe you didn't get through. That's <laughs> shocking. What's that? What's, that? What's that big lump of yep. uselessness going to do now? Big 
clamp it. <laughs> um, he has to clamp it, isn't he? Well, he's going to have to go through, isn't he? Yeah. This is tough for you, though, because if you look, I am gathering you're not going to get through here, really, without much luck. You might want to be trying to edge around the back. But I don't know. I mean, it's tough, isn't it? Are you just trying to give away my game plan or what? <laughs> no, I'm just proving to you that I know what you're going to do. <laughs> right, so what's the, what's the strategy well, then? Frodo's got to go over, doesn't he? Is Frodo going to roll for Frodo first? That's probably yeah. a good call. So let's see what he gets. Six. I he gets a six, on. so we can move on. That's really good. So, yeah, so you can, you can pretty much execute your strategy then, can't you? Well... <laughs> well, okay. You have the opportunity to execute your strategy. Whether you can or not is a entirely different matter. Over here. Okay, <laughs> so, and then these other three. They can move forward as well. They can move forward. Friday. Okay. Right. Cool. There we are. So they're scooting up there to sneak in through the uh, that area there, which is actually like a bog or whatever, but is not. Everything is normal ground. And this. So let's see what my sentry rolls do. <laughs> this is this is getting interesting. If I can get a six on the the right hand one, it could be quite difficult for you. Mm -hmm. Right. So starting from left to right, I get a five on the one on the left, so I can move him half. I get a one on the middle one. He just isn't interested in doing anything. Like this is the one that matters. No. I get a one. <laughs> Huge moment, I huge like this moment. Dance. Right, so let's look, go back and look at the uh, state of play um, at the end of turn four. Was it a five? Can't remember. So, what we've got is we've got some ring wraiths here, and the hobbits are scooting up the track there. So, that's the end of the turn. So, neither of us can remember what turn we're on because it's been weeks. Actually, not weeks, months. <laughs> and also we realised that we haven't been rolling for priority at all. <laughs> this shows just how long it is since we've actually played this game and we both completely forgot that priority was a thing. So I think what we're going to do is carry on and just carry on with good hope moving first and uh, even moving second. Do, do you think? Is that, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've got. I think. I think we've, we've made the mistake. We may yeah. as well continue to make it. Exactly. I think. I think we've done four turns. I think this is going to be turn five. So what we're going to do <laughs> is uh, auto priori good priority. We'll just carry on. I think auto good priority. Um, the state of play, which you'll remember much better than us, because for you it was immediate, and for us it's been weeks. Um, but just to just to kind of yeah, so it'll be a bit odd for you watching. But uh, there are the uh, fellowship um, on there. The fellowship. Not the Fellowship at all, what an idiot. Um, those are the Hobbits, it's not the Fellowship yet. Um, trying to make their way around behind the uh, Fairish house and the, the three uh, Ringwraiths are here, wandering around doing very little, to be honest. So yeah, your turn to move. Okay. Let's see what, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so where are those pesky little Hobbits is gonna go? This is how long it's been since. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's, what, what, what's this sticky thing I've got in my hand again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how far do hobbits move? Four. Four. <laughs> they're not dwarves. They don't, they're not sprinters like dwarves are. Like you're used to. <laughs> yeah, a whole five. <laughs> a whole five, yes. So we're actually getting to the pointy end because this one is going to be very interesting because I can raise the alert depending on how well that the roll goes now. Okay. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to roll three and I'm going to roll from left to right and I will holler out what they are. So first of all, the furthest one away, the one that doesn't matter, gets a three, get a four and I want this to be a six. And you want it to, to be, be a, one. a one. A one or a th one, two, three, I think. Okay. Out of the dry stray. Gets a three. Right. So we're just going to double check what that actually means because I can't actually remember. Oh, here it is. I've got it here. So a three means you move him. <laughs> so I can move the middle one. 
three inches mm -hmm. um, and you can move the both of the, the the exterior ones so just to make this let's put the dice next to them so we can see so I'll move mine first and then you can move the other one so I get to move three so that's about as good as you could have hoped for there we are so that's him moved so now you can move those two uh, three inches in any direction mm-hmm And then we'll move on to the next turn. Oh, so he's just going to come back. I'm actually considering him you... moving him closer to me. Oh, yeah, I mean, without there being priority, that doesn't make sense because you can move another. But you said, I wouldn't move him closer. Yeah, I think that's probably the best I can do with that. There we are. So let's have a quick look. So what we've got is we've got pesky little hobbitses ducking their way past the other side of the... Uh, of the ferry house and the uh, ringwraiths, true to their word, hunt deadly hunters that they are, are just milling around in the wrong direction. <laughs> Saren could have picked better, uh, you know, minions, couldn't oh. he? <laughs> <laughs> right, next turn. And this really does show why priority is such a fantastic addition to the game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll play more games, we'll fill more games, and we'll get them right next time. Those pesky hobbits is. Right, I really need a six now. I really need a six now on this uh, on this one that's been closest so far. I'm not sure what this dude at the back's doing. He's gone off for a smoke, I think, hasn't he? <laughs> right, so let's do the dude that's actually not in shot on the camera at the moment. Get a two, so you can move him. I get a one, so the middle one doesn't move at all. This is the big one. Are you ready for this? One. Oh. <laughs> two, one, one. She called it. So, what that means, if I just move out, because currently the one that, that actually is going to move um, is not in shot, so we'll just go over here. Look at this dude over here, over by the, uh, over by the big tree. Here's a two, so he can move three inches. So he's going to mosey on for a cigarette over in the other corner. Um, and the other two have obviously found some interesting bugs on the floor that they're having a bit of a dig around in, having a look at. Maybe they're feeling a bit hungry. So I move um, them? No, they're, one means they, they don't move. move. Well, actually, yeah. three would have been better for me, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, so don't, don't, don't get greedy. <laughs> <laughs> three would have been better. Aspire for more. <laughs> Greedy greed. Right, let's do it then. Again. Can they get away, those sneaky hobbits? Is. They're, they're doing a good job of it so far, but they, it could still go badly wrong. Oh, it could, and it probably will. One, one six on either of these two, and it's still you're still in the strife. Right, let's get them. Let's fall into the crevice. Let's get oh. them. Uh, let's get it done. So the, the first one. Mm -hmm. I get a four, so at least I can move him three back. He can wander back. Two for the middle one, so Angela can move that one again. Come on. A one. <laughs> what is going on with my dice rolling? So I've got a four here, which means I can move him. Got a two on this one, and a one on this one. It's just, yeah. Yeah, this is silly. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so he's, he, he's, he's realised that he left his lighter with one of the others and he's on his way back to try and get his lighter. That's what he's doing. There we are. So you can move this dude now. <laughs> Three, yeah? Yeah. There we are. And he can't. There we are. Good. Right. Right, let's just crack on then. Next turn. <laughs> Them. Look at them sneaking around behind that house. I'm That's gonna go out of shot in a second, I'll have to move the camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shocking behaviour, these are rubbish. I thought they were supposed to be deadly trackers, these like, you know, ring wraith types. There we are. Right, I'm actually gonna put the camera onto the, uh, onto the dice tray because that's quite funny if it'll focus. There it is, it's focused. Right, so let's see what we can get. Probably a bit far away, is it? No, no, it's focused in. Right then, first one. Six! 
I can move him fully. Middle one. Four, I can move the middle one. Come on, this is the biggie. Five, I get to move them all. Yes, finally get to do something with my troops. Right, so let's put them down, move the camera, and then move the dudes. So unfortunately, I didn't get a six on the one that I really wanted a six on. However, I did get, I am able to move them, so they're all gonna head directly and without passing go, without collecting $200, straight for that, uh, straight over, over in the direction of the, of the ferry. So six, pyong, three, and three. There we are, wow. That felt like I had some kind of, you know, motivation and direction suddenly. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to move the camera because I can no longer see those Trixie Hobbits. So let's move the camera. Yeah, we should have, we can't believe we forgot priority. That was very silly, wasn't it? Really? Ruined it, really. Uh, but it's, no, it hasn't ruined it, it's, it's just different. Yeah. It's just, it hasn't ruined it, it's still different. It's not very different, really, is it? but it is less interesting. So anyway, so we've got a slightly different perspective now. Uh, here come those Trixie Hobbitses, but another six, particularly for him, could make this very interesting. Nah. I because I'd be within six, and then the alarm alert would be called, and then I would no longer be rolling for he's a century. Got, he's going back to the hedge. Is he, is he having a one or a two or a three? Yeah. Well, we'll get yourself. <laughs> Come on then. looking at this terrain. I mean, there's so many things I did wrong with it, but when you look at it from the top, it's fantastic, isn't it? Really, really proud of it. Of course, now you're actually seeing the reason why we're playing this. This is the ferry, uh, which is in the Battle Games in Middle Earth magazine, which this video is for. Um, and this is, um, was made not based on the magazine, I don't think. It's dusty, I look at the dust, yeah. <laughs> uh, hasn't been moved for a while. So it's based, not based on the magazine, but that's uh, my interpretation. And it is just um, lollipop sticks um, and a bit of wood. And I think I used hand sander for that. I don't even think I had a Dremel at that point. This is some of the first terrain I ever made. And this river, um, I think I've said it already on the video, dripped water, drip, drip resin into the, uh, onto your new kitchen unit, didn't it? Yeah. Yes, I really probably shouldn't remind you of that. Anyway. <laughs> I'm reminded every day. <laughs> right, let's uh, have a look at this dice tray. Um, and there's a Thelma wandering around. I'm wondering what's going on because she's not sat in front of the telly. Right, so we're going to go left to right again. Mm -hmm. So let's roll for number one. I get a two, you get to move him. The middle one. Cocked. You let me have that. Yeah, it was a one, but yeah. A one again. <laughs> well, there we are, honestly paid for you. Six. Three! I don't believe it! She's going to get away with it. Right, so let's just position those against where they are. So, we Two, have one, three. three here. This guy's not moving. And He's the dude that's hidden behind that bush has got a two. So you can move those ones three inches. Can't see from this angle, but he's going to poke his head out now. He's, he's picked up his cigarette lighter and he's on the way back for a cigarette, <laughs> for a smoke. He might, he might find it's not working. I'll have to go back again. Yeah, I reckon he's just like wandering backwards and forwards, isn't he? So, let's have a look at the big picture of what's going on. We have the hobbits probably two turns away from getting onto the ferry. And once I'm on the ferry, I won't ever be able to get the sentry. So that will be the game over, basically, if you can get on the ferry. Because I'm so far away, I've not managed to get close. I don't think that priority would have mattered that much. Not with the bad rolls I've had for my sentries. Well, maybe not. So I don't think it would have done from memory. So anyway, let's uh, see where you're going to sneak these sneaky little hobbits' is baggins. Shire baggins. He's going right to the edge. Whoa. He's going to come to One, two, 
Oh, he's going to hop over this rock. <laughs> come there. A good six now. He's going to come in here. A good six now and I can still do it. I think from Which either of those two. Do? The good six now. That one's for I think. Careful of the tree. Yeah. Right, let me get my dices. And let's see. So if I can get, I want three sixes. Come on. Come on, evil dice. Yeah, right. Come on, Mordor dice. Three sixes, please. Three twos. <gasps> Two? I've it. Three. One for the middle one. One. Six! <laughs> I think I just woke Rosie up. If you wake that up. <laughs> but look, one. it's the evil eye of Sauron. Look. <laughs> just <for> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> That's the one I wanted. Right, so let's place those dice and then do the moves. <coughs> <laughs> I think I'm about to raise the alarm, which means I won't have to call, uh, do any um, any sentry anymore. So, uh, there we are, and I am within six. Oh, it's not six inches, it's three inches. Why? Sentry is three inches. All right. And I'm not within three oh. inches. Oh, that's like millimetres. <laughs> that's millimetres, it says here. If during the end phase of any turn there is an unengaged sentry within three inches and in line of sight of an enemy model, then the alarm has been raised. God, these oh. ring are a bit blind, really, aren't they? Well, I mean, it is a... Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, that's rubbish. Um, wow, so that's pretty tight. Um, I'm going to move the camera and we're going to have a bit of a chat about whether we're going to do priority or not. <laughs> yeah, so should. I think it matters there, but I'm going to move the camera anyway. Right, lucky dice, hey? Right, so we are going to go for priority because it's really important this. You ready? Yeah. I get six. I can't win. You can. Because we've not had priority, we've... Uh. <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now I get to roll my sentries. Well, they're not sentries anymore. No, they're not, oh, but they are still because it's three inches, not six. Oh, I'm, right, I'm okay. 3.025 <laughs> inches away or something. Right, so we're going to go left to right again. Okay. Two, you get to move him. <laughs> He's rubbish. He's not there, well left him at home. Two, you get to move him. The big one. The big one. Three. Five. <laughs> However, you move four inches, mm -hmm. and I move three inches, enter phase, I'm still not gonna be within six. So let's just get those dice moved and see what that looks like. Okay, so let's have a look and see what this means. So, this dude, I can move three inches. This dude, you move two. And this dude back here is now having a cigarette and he doesn't move at all. Um, so I'm going to move three inches. Okay. Now the interesting thing is, is I'm actually getting within charge range. So I actually can't move because I can't reach. So I can't have to stay an inch away mm. because that's the fundamental rules because I can't charge. So I have to stay an inch away. There we are. Now you can move the other one three inches wherever you want. And this dude doesn't move at all. So now you get to move. That was my priority. And you need to get more than three inches away from me. Hmm. And then I'm going to read the ferry. So he's on. So the ferry can move d6 inches per turn. So there is still a chance of getting within three. If I can get a six next turn, Oops. and then you roll a one for your move, then I'll be able to maybe black dart you. I could still win this. I could still win okay, this. Because this one's not on. Okay. Oh, right. So let's uh, let's let, let's do priority. I, I think it's I think it's wise doing priority now. Are you ready? Yes. Are you steady? No. Get a five. Rolling strong. Get a four. My priority. So let's roll again. First one. Oh, out the dice straight. Get a two. You get to move him. <laughs> Middle one. Get a four. I get to move him. Three. Now the big one. I need a six. 
Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I called it. Right, so that is big. So let's have a look and see what that's going to mean. <laughs> it's actually getting quite tense. So actually, so do remember that I can't charge. So here's a six, here's a four, and here's a two. So um, I keep putting them, they're, they're, they're clear, so you can't see them, can you? So now he's going to come back three. Just move you him You can move back. him. No, just move him back three. Move him back three. Yeah. There we are. He's done absolutely nothing for me all, all absolutely game. Absolutely nothing. And he can move six, but I need to keep him an inch away because I can't charge, because I can't charge because I'm a sentry. I think you're fine. I think he can get on and mm -hmm. then you roll a dice yep. and you remove that many D. So let's get the camera pointed down and you need to roll a, a, a dice and you get to move D6. So you get to move four inches. So yeah, sorry about that. I forgot to move the camera. Move the camera then. But yeah, so that so that's it. I think that's one because I can never get within three. Um, so you've managed to get away. Um, I think there needs to be an epic handshake in front of the camera. Uh, um, over over here, over here, over here, over here. Epic handshake. Um, and let's have a little bit of a, of a of a chat to camera and wrap the game up. Good game. <laughs> Good game. It's a shame that we missed the priority. Yeah. Um, that was a shame. But having said that, I think this is such a good scenario. What do you think about it compared to the Because we played the different version of this scenario, didn't we? I think I was on horseback, wasn't I? And that was... This is the new book, isn't this it? Is this is the, the new, new book, route. yeah. We played, the last time we played it was on the old route. Yeah. What do you think of the comparing the two? I think we need to play this with priority. Yeah. To compare it, because I think last time it was much more exciting it was i mean last from what i can remember last time is the, the ring race started off at the back and the hobbits started and off weren't midway. They on horses? yeah and they yeah. were on horses and so much moved much faster yeah. and i don't recall there being uh sentry rules either no there wasn't uh, but um, i must I admit so. having said that maybe there was ha well having said that it got quite close yeah it still was close, despite the little mistakes you make and despite the terrible rolling I made. It still actually got down to, you know, if you'd have rolled a one there. Yeah, I'd have been stuffed. Yeah, so it was it was close, closer than expected. But uh, yeah, fun. It's nice to play games. It's been a very long time. Yeah, it's nice to play with toys. I like it. And I also really like playing the SBG because it's such a fun, simple game. And look at this, look at this Xena. Look at the size Legs. of this monster. Yeah. Right, anyway, thank you for playing. Thank you for having me. <laughs> now we go to the TV. Yeah, and we're going to have to try and find another, get another game going as well soon. Get that recorded also. If we Next can. week. Yeah. Next week. Next week. Well, there we are. I really hope that you enjoyed that. We had such fun playing. Uh, and just to let you know that actually since that game, we've actually only managed to play one more. <laughs> played a game with Airflix. It was great fun. Uh, but yeah, life is crazily busy. And as regular viewers will know, we've had quite a bit of illness in the family. And so we've just been sick and well. Uh, we're all recovering. I'm feeling a lot better. Angela's finally feeling better as I record this. Um, so maybe we'll be able to get back to the uh, gaming table again soon. Uh, but yeah, real fun game. It's always good to play. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I really found it funny that we forgot the rules, <laughs> uh, simple as they are. Um, and uh, if you'd have done anything different, uh, it's a great little scenario. I recommend it to anyone. It doesn't need many miniatures, which is unusual for Games Workshop. So you can play that with, what, seven miniatures, which is nothing, proxy them in, and uh, get a really fun game. Um, I thought the century rules being three inches, not six, made it a little bit more tough. I think it would have been... Well, obviously I didn't like losing, <laughs> no, I don't care, but uh, that was my, my feelings. But I found it very interesting that despite, and I think I said this in the summary, despite everything going so badly for me, it did end up being quite close, which is always very exciting. Anyway, back to regular content this time next month, first Tuesday of the month um, will be a build. And the Tuesday after, uh, there will be welcoming Meredith back to the channel again. Thanks to her for that awesome intro um, introduction. We were going to do something a bit bigger as a collaboration for this video, but just didn't get ourselves organised in time, uh, frankly. Um, and so that went by the by. But we've got a really cool collaboration planned for a couple of months, so do watch out for that. Anyway, enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Do leave me a comment. I do reply to them all. Don't be shy. And as always, we're thinking about 
the horrible situation in Ukraine, anyone that's directly or indirectly impacted, uh, my thoughts go out to you. And everyone, please do stay healthy, stay safe and stay well. All right. Can they get away? Are they feeling lucky? I'll see you. Bit of wood. <laughs> right, so we'll cut that bit so 